Hey guys, welcome back. So a quick tutorial on how to monitor Windows services with a Zabbix for free. And basically we're talking about the services.msc page in a Windows itself. Here you'll find a lot, probably like tens, sometimes even hundreds of all sort of different services. And these obviously are going to be different from one computer to other computer, different Windows versions, uh, perhaps Windows server. Someone will have something different installed like the Microsoft SQL, so they might have additional services running and with a Zabbix you can monitor all of them and the prettiest thing is that automatically like you don't need to create an item for each of the services that you want to monitor right so Zabbix will run the discovery on the selected windows machine and based on all of the conditions create the items to monitor each of these services automatically right and to do that like to actually start a monitoring what you need is obviously a zabbix right and here i've spun it up from the container just a docker compose uh, from the clone of the zabbix uh, docker git page but if you're looking on how to install the zabbix you can find that video in my channel by just searching like Zabbix installation. I have a video about how to install the latest LTS version Zabbix 7.0. Another thing that you need to have is you really need to have the Zabbix agent installed on the machine like I have here right Zabbix agent it is running and I already have created the hosts in the Zabbix front end but if you don't have an agent then you just go to the Zabbix.com click get Zabbix Zabbix agents uh, Windows any AMD or Intel depending on what kind of architecture we're running 7.0 open SSL and MSI like here is the installation agent 1 or agent 2 like in terms of Windows service monitoring there is no difference and you just install it configure to be monitored by the Zabbix again if that is something you don't know how to do that's basically the previous video that I've published in this in this channel so again open up my channel and just search like how to uh, monitor windows in less than nine minutes and in that video i'll also show how to install the agent but you'll for sure find it in in the youtube channel itself so when everything is set up we obviously need to create a host and in my case it's a youtube let me zoom in a little bit so it's youtube host which is pointing to my windows desktop the one which you see right now in your screens i called it youtube i have agent running on it i have a template windows by zabbix agent that's a default one i have not created anything i did not edit anything or whatever i just nothing that's the default windows by zabbix agent template that comes with the zabbix installation which is enabled and availability is green and there's no encryption so there are many many items and if i would go to the monitoring latest data i will find many many metrics with all sort of different val v different values but the problem that usually happens and the question that many people ask in, in Telegram, Forum, Facebook, Reddit, whatever, about the service monitoring is that pretty often, almost all the time, whenever you set up the monitoring, you start to receive the problems already. Like the system is operational, everything is good, but you receive problems like I do. I've got a problem about the Google update service 131.067.76.0 is not running, but the startup type is automatic, right? So that's one of the services which is not running right now, despite the fact that having the startup type automatic. Uh, and Zabbix thinks that it is a problem. And I have another trigger like here, Google update internal uh, service 131.067.76.0. Uh, also, the service is not running but a startup type is automatic and the third one stisvc windows image acquisition is not running but a startup type is automatic and again these problems will be different from computer to the computer or you're running windows server or whatever but the main question people have is like how can i get rid of those because okay i can probably update and okay in this case i cannot even close the problem but i don't want to have them in my zabbix and more uh, special I don't want to receive notifications about these problems and you could go to configuration hosts 
uh, find those triggers or and, and disable them, the ones that you don't need, or do the same with items. But that is not the best thing to do. That is not a correct thing to do. And most likely this will not lead to success. And most likely after some time, most likely after an hour, you will still receive... Um, problems and, and alerts about the same services you're trying to fix. And now let me show you like the real and only way how to actually uh, not monitor the services that you don't want to monitor. All of the services, as I said, the items are created automatically. See, like uh, uh, where there is, uh, I don't know, let's, let's try to look, let's try to find some services. Windows Service Discovery, like DHCP, DNS Cache, DPS, uh, DUS, uh, SVC, whatever, Event Log, all of those, each line is a separate service, and all of them are discovered automatically by the Zabbix, by Zabbix agent, and to be more specific, it is done by the Windows Services Discovery, which is the low-level discovery rule on this host, and you can find it here in the discovery rules section right under the hosts and uh, here is like the file system discovery not a problem for us network interface discovery not a problem physical disk not a problem windows services discovery so this is the one that we need to fix and inside it there's just one item prototype so for every discovered windows service zabbix will create one single item that will monitor the state of the service running or not running and probably there's some other states as well and there's going to be just one trigger for each of those items that will go to the problem state as soon as the monitored service is not in the running state so any other than zero and if you want to prevent some services of being monitored by the Zabbix, the correct thing is go to the low-level discovery rule, Windows Services Discovery, go to the Filters tab, and this is the most important place, because see, see, like, the condition when the items will be created for the discovered services are like this. So, service name must match something which is in this user macro but it must not match something which is here and the startup name should be like this and the startup uh, name should not be like this so basically um click control open the host or no it's not gonna work like click right mouse button open it in the new tab just to be more convenient click on the macros inherited and host macros and we're looking for service name matches so let's search service name matches this one and as you can see in the value we have a regular expression that's going to match everything right so every service name that is gonna be discovered will match this condition so it's going to be true which it means that we continue and this next one service name does not match service name not matches this one here you need to enter all of the um service names that you don't want to monitor and uh let me do this again uh macro inherited service name not matches um i will do it here on the template level service name not matches god it's so uncomfortable uh, i will copy this out and put it in regex 101 uh, this one this one and as you can see like each of these mm css g update sysmon log uh cdp svc all of those are separate services and inside of this, you need to put the services that you want to ignore. So if you want to ignore uh, what we had here, uh, let me go back to the dashboard. Uh, in the dashboard, I have the problem as example with ST, ST, SVC, right? So I go to the macro, I find the correct place, better to do it somewhere where you see that you will not going to break everything. So I add an extra pipe and paste it here. And obviously I don't need a quotas. So delete the quotas, service is entered, update the template. And right now 
the next discovery cycle which is happening by default every one hour if i am not mistaken we can check it uh here discovery windows services update interval one hour so after one hour zabbix will not discover anymore the service with the name stisvc and the items and the triggers are going to be deleted from the Zabbix and you will never see this problem again. But where you must be careful is to disable only those services that you really don't need to monitor. And the cases when you don't need to monitor them are mostly the cases when now, some of the services, they have a startup type automatic but they operate in a way that uh, they launch only when they need to launch and for those obviously you don't want to receive a problem every time the service is not running so the most common practice is really to add those services to the filters like let me show you again uh data collection hosts uh discovery windows service discovery filters here service name not matches and to populate the value of this you need to either go to the host itself macro inherited uh, service name not matches added here click change right the only thing why i didn't went from here is that it cleans the page or you can go to the template itself uh how can i better show that windows by zabbix agent macro service name not matches and add the service here so somewhere we should have uh here is the one that i've just added and if you need to add more then again just add a pipe service one add a pipe service two just make sure that the service that you are always trying to uh, remove from the zabbix to discover is always inside of pipes this is how you operate windows service discovery i hope that it was streamlined enough and i hope that you will succeed with the task you're trying to achieve other than that thank you guys for watching see you later goodbye